I'm going to show how I tied the ropes for the Madigan squeeze for the dummy fold that we have. I had a hard time finding a video that really showed how to do the ropes and I kind of pieced it together from three different videos that I found. I seen it done with a variety of different kinds of ropes. Um, I seen it done with like a very thick cotton rope like this, um, even just like a regular lead shank like this. Um, I even seen it with a very thin um, cotton rope, maybe even like smaller than the size of my pinky. Um, I used my lunge line, which is a flat cotton rope. I wanted to make sure that the rope was long enough to go around the rib cage three times and across the shoulder and still be able to hold it tight. And just in my head, um, being a flat rope, I thought it would cover more area, get a better squeeze. I don't know if it made a difference or not, but that's just how my brain works. So hopefully Indy will cooperate and I will show you guys how I did it. He was actually to the point where he couldn't stand up well enough on his own, even with us helping for us to do the, the squeeze. So we were doing it when he was actually laying down. It took two of us. One of us would lift up his bum and slide the ropes underneath and then um, do the crosses at the top. So we'll see if he will sit still well enough for us to do a little demo here. So, hey bud. Okay, bud. Start around the rib cage and bring the lead shank up to the top. And I just clipped the shank, clip the shank through the lead shank here. And then you start to go back down the same side that you just came up because you want to make kind of a corset along the top here. So you go back down and under and then thread the shank through the loop that you just made. Okay, so you can kind of see that we get this cross around the top of the back here. And then you're going to go back down the side that you just came up. And loop it through. Again. Okay, so now we've got three bands around his rib cage. And at this point, you're going to come up in front of his shoulder, and you're going to go between his front legs, oh, bud. and then come up the other side and loop it through that loop again. And pull it all through again. Okay. There, so you can see how it comes across the shoulder between the front legs and then up the side and through this loop again. Okay, can you show the, the top and just show like how the zigzag goes? Mm -hmm. Okay, and now at this point is when you would lay them down if they are able to still be standing. So you'd pull them back so that he goes onto his hind end and then gently lay his front end down. And then you pull it tight, tight enough. Like I'm not gonna pull it tight on him because he's He's done with this, but <clears throat> tight enough to mimic going through the, the birth canal and make that squeeze that's supposed to release those neurotransmitters that tells him that he is born, but not so tight that you're going to cut off his wind on the front here. And then you sit like that with him for, I did 20 minutes each time. And then you gently release the ropes after your 20 minutes is up and don't touch him. Let him come out of it on his own and hopefully, for an hour, right? Well, hopefully he comes out of it right away. Um, but don't touch them. Um, give them at least two hours in between doing the, doing the squeeze. Um, I had to do it four times before he came out of it. Um, some other videos that I had watched of people having to do it, um, they had to do it nine times. So if it doesn't work the first time, it's definitely worth it to keep trying. Oh boy. <laughs>